so I literally have been stalking the UPS man. Like, I've been waiting out in my backyard for two hours. So my kids are up. <laughs> I was supposed to have filmed this throughout the course of their nap, but the UPS man was later than usual today, which, why does that always happen to me? I have these great plans. I've been ready. I'm like sitting outside. I probably got burned in the course of sitting outside. I almost finished my book. Whew. But anyways, so I wanted to share with you um, some lipsticks that I bought from MAC from the new max they released some new matte shades i don't know if these are limited or if they're now permanent or what all i know is that i saw one of the lipstick shades was the shade that is in that is it blah 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 one of the lipstick shades is the same as one of my favorite lip liners by mac which is whirl so i had to have that one so you will see that one and i ordered one two three four five six seven lipsticks so some of these are from that mac matte collection and others are new um, and others are uh, permanent ones that have been been around forever. I just I just needed to own them. So I thought we would do some lip swatches and hand swatches and just kind of chit chat here while I show you this. So I'm hoping my children. I got one child on the computer watching trucks, another child on um, Xbox watching a movie on what is it Netflix or something. Which we just jumped on the Netflix bandwagon and I'm really liking it because my children like it because there's all these new cartoons. My husband likes it because he's been um, watching Breaking Bad. He's almost done with the entire series. Um, and I just watch it here and there. I, I, I'm a QVC and reality TV junkie and I really like to watch HDTV um, Flip or Flop and uh, the Property Brothers and I also really like to watch the Food Network. So. My taste in TV is not what most people like to watch. In fact, my husband's always like, I hate watching TV with you because you watch such lame things. I'm like, I like it. I like, by the time I get down, to sit down at nighttime, I'm tired. So I don't want to watch something that's going to require me to use my brain, which is why I like to watch that brainless type of TV that you could just sit down and watch it. You probably will forget everything you watched by the next morning. But I like that because then there's no commit. Like, I don't have to remember what happened in the previous episode. I'm also a Real Housewives junkie. All of them except for the Miami, the, the, what was it, Real Housewives of Miami? I don't really like that season that much or any of those women too much. But anyways, let's get into these lipstick things, swatches, the lipsticks I bought. Ooh, I'm tongue-tied now. I've been waiting for so long. So, let's see. Should we zoom you in a little bit? Ooh. I also just felt the need to powder because I've had my makeup on for so long. I've been waiting for this. UPS guys, so the first one I ordered is called Real Redhead. It is a luster, and that is what I'm wearing right now. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so beautiful. Um, I just literally put it on, and I'm like putting it on my lips. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I bought this one. It's beautiful. So let me give you a little hand swatch here. It is that luster formula, which isn't my favorite formula. It's very lightweight, not super opaque, buildable, um, but this particular shade... On the lips, it's coming off that it has a little bit of a, like, a sheen to it. Um, it's really, really pretty. I'm so glad I ordered it. Um, I saw on, where did I see this? On Instagram somewhere, I saw a post about this lipstick, and I had never heard of it before. So I'm thinking this might be a newer addition to their permanent collection. I'm not sure, but Real Redhead um, is what it's called, and um, I'm really digging it. So you're also getting a first impressions here, because I literally just opened this up. Some of these, I like, I didn't see them in the store. Some of them I've swatched in the store before, but this next one I did not swatch in the store or anything. I just bought it sight on scene. And this is another newer... Sorry, I just ran up the stairs. <gasps> Whew, there's not enough oxygen in Colorado, I swear. Um, this is one of the newer ones, I believe. I've never seen this or heard of it before, but it's an amplified formula, which I like. Um, and it's called Real Sexy, R-E-E-L, Sexy. Don't know why, but this is a summer color. <laughs> I was putting this on, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wore the right color shirt today, and I totally should have brushed my teeth before I did this, but, um, this is a bright color, but I kind of like it, so this is what it looks like in the tube, um, let me swatch it on my hand here for you, just suit, so, you know my lips are pink, <gasps> oh my word, look what just happened, no, it must have melted in the UPS man's truck, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I can call them or if I can just deal because that's really sad. I'm going to have to call customer service. Anyways, well that's depressing there. It is swatched. Ugh. I have a feeling it might be like some of those other um, corally ones like maybe like what, Sushi Kiss or something. I can't think right now. I just totally got sidetracked. <gasps> Anyways, let me zoom you in. 
This is real, real. I like it. I think it's pretty. So I would definitely recommend using a lip liner with the rest of these. These are darker shades. I would even probably use a lip liner with Real Sexy, the one I just had on, um, because it just... It just needs something, but I'm just going to apply these as is. Um, so this is the reason I wanted to place the order. This one and another one here. This is uh, Max Whirl. Why am I saying Mac? This is obviously a Mac video, Chelsea. This is Whirl. It is a matte formula. I really like this. Um, this is kind of the color I was looking for, or I've been looking for, kind of like a darker nude, something that will take you uh, really well through fall and winter. I realize it is summer, but... Sometimes you just want a darker nude, like you don't always want to have a lighter nude, you know? So, um, let me swatch this. I hope this one's not going to break. Oh my gosh, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be on the phone with customer service as soon as I'm done filming this. But here is Whirl. It's going to pair perfectly with the lip pencil because it is like the exact same shade. Let me swatch it here for you. Where are you? That's not you. There you are. Um, yeah, perfect. Like the same thing whirl and whirl so yay I'm so glad they made a lipstick in that because I really liked that uh, lips now I really like that lip liner I have I have a problem I can't finish my train of thought before starting the next one now they need to make a lipstick called spice because that is my favorite lip pencil by Mac if you don't own it you need it I really like this one wow I really like this one like I said this is also a first impressions let me fix my mirror so I can look at myself um this is a beautiful nude. If you are scared of darker nudes, try this one because it has peach in it, so it brightens it up a little bit. So this is called Spirit, and it is a satin formula, so it's a little bit creamier than the matte formula, but I like the matte formula in Max lipsticks. I don't find it to be incredibly drying. It is nothing like, say, um, a liquid lipstick, like Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is matte. Um, it is nothing like that. I find it's actually kind of creamy. Oh my gosh, I love this nude. It's kind of like Milani's Naked um, that I really have been digging lately. So anyways, um, that is Spirit. And I'm really happy with this purchase as well. I think this is a great, um, deeper way to wear a nude. Now this next one is called um, Taupe. And this is a matte formula. This one is a little bit more orange. Um, dare I say orange, not orange, like it's warmer, it's like a, like a really warm brown, a little bit, um, of less peach, a little more depth to it. Well, it looks peach on my hand, but it's coming off, like it's really, let me zoom in, it's, it's pretty, it's just a deeper nude with a little bit more warmth, a little bit more, uh, orangier type tones in it, but I think it is also quite flattering. I think it's really pretty. Now, some of these that I bought, you're thinking, well, why did you buy all these darker colors in it's summer? Because I wanted them. <laughs> and if I'm going to place an order, I'm going to buy the ones I've been wanting rather than buying, like, bright off-the-wall colors that I don't wear as often. I love myself in bright colors, but I like to have, um, I'm trying to have some staple darker shades that will take me throughout the year if I want to. I would totally wear this color out on a date night. Maybe not during, maybe during the day. Depends what I'm wearing. But, so, this is taupe. A weird thought just came to mind as I'm applying this. I have them all laid up here and they're all twisted up and I'm looking down and I feel like I just bought a family of trees because they're all like tree color, like of some shade of brown. Um, this next one is a new one to the um, matte collection that was just released. It's called Persistence. And it's very similar to um, the one I just had on. What did I just have on? Um, Spirit? Taupe? It's very similar to those. It's just not as orangier. It's not as warm. It's got a little bit more brown to it. And this is called Persistence. Now, when they released this collection, they also had my favorite in, um, in the collection, which is kind of sexy. Um, and they had some brighter colors and stuff, but I don't know. I'm kind of digging these darker colors. And I feel like as I get older, I'll probably wear the brighter off-the-wall colors less and less and stuff like this more and more just because, I mean... I guess I could show up to my child's school program and, you know, bright purple lipstick. I could, uh, but my child might hate me <laughs> or at the very least be embarrassed. So this is a great color and I feel like if you pair this with a little something lighter in the center, maybe a little gloss, a little bit of a lip liner, it's really going to take it up and finish the look. I'm just applying it as is. I don't like the look of a lipstick without a liner. I'm just 
kind of obsessed with liners like I didn't used to be but I get it now so anyways um, persistence so this last one there is a story to this this is called Brickle Law and it is an amplified formula this was supposed to appear in Tuesday's haul um, which I had actually bought this stuff a month ago you guys I didn't buy all this stuff this week um, I just waited to post the haul in they I went to the store to buy this and they did not have it this was the reason I walked into that store and they didn't have it um, of course and so um, it was like back order or something and they're like well we'll ship it to you for free when it comes in and they actually called me yesterday and I'm like well you know I waited long enough <laughs> I could not wait any longer so I'd already placed the order for this then they called me yesterday whatever anyways this color I had tried on in the store in the fall and I think I had tried it on at least a year prior and I finally bought it Brickle Law it's a beautiful bricky red shade um but it's a little bit brighter I think this is a great daytime red like it's not super punchy I need to check my teeth because I just saw something. It's not super punchy. It's not over the top brilliant. It has just enough to it that it's, it's a red that a lot of people can wear. If you're scared of reds, try Brickle Law because it's not super dark. It's not super bright. It's just a wearable red color. I think it's very pretty. I think it's a color that'll take you from summer all the way into winter. I, I think it's just a great staple color to have on hand. So Brickle Law, you need to get your hands on it because I'm so glad I finally did after like two years. Well, this was fun, guys. Um, thank you for coming by on this Saturday and chit-chatting with me. And um, did you guys pick up any of these uh, new matte ones? If you did, what did you pick up? Is I kind of was looking at um, the peachier one. Gosh, what is it called? Peach, uh, something ride or dream or something. Did you, is it good? I don't know, Tim Tilly didn't give it the most awesome review. But anyways, um, I think all these colors, I mean, are going to take me all the way through the rest of this year. I don't think I need any more dark nude colors, truly. My nude obsession might now be complete. <laughs> Maybe. Don't mark my words, because um, I might change my mind. Um, so, do I have anything else to share with you? Mm, I don't think so. Um, ooh, you want to know what I'm having for dinner? I am making chicken and bacon pasta. I found a recipe and I just need a couple ingredients. I need some Parmesan cheese and something else. But it's like this cream sauce with you like saute the chicken and you put in the bacon and it has tomatoes and spinach and pasta and it sounds, it looks really good. So hopefully I can make the recipe as good as the computer shows the picture how it should turn out because you know it doesn't always turn out like it, you know, it looks. so. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday, and I think this upcoming Tuesday I'm not going to have a video. Um, we're kind of heading towards some changes once again, so I am going to be still putting up videos on Fridays and Saturdays for sure. Um, there might be a bonus Tuesday video one week, maybe not another week. I'm just kind of trying to slow my roll here a little bit and spend a lot of time with family as much as possible. Um because there's going to be some changes and so I have to just slow my roll because Chelsea when she gets rolling she I'm like I'm like one of those hedgehogs as they roll down the hill and just gets faster and faster and faster yeah that's kind of how I am <laughs> so anyways um I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll chit chat with you soon